Studio One is an amazing DAW with a ton of functionality. So here are five awesome features to improve your workflow that you might not know about. First on the list, we have what I would consider to be the most important modifier key in Studio One, and that is the Option or Alt key if you are on PC. Some of you may know that if you hold the Command or Control key, you'll be able to pull up your secondary mouse tool, but did you know that if you also hold the Option or Alt key at the same time, your cursor will now turn into a slip edit tool? With this tool, you can then drag any audio or MIDI back and forth within its respective event to reposition and retime, which can be super handy for certain edits. Not only that, but if you use the Option or Alt key by itself, this allows you to duplicate almost anything in Studio One. Seriously, from audio and MIDI events to arrange or track sections to even duplicating entire tracks with their events. In most cases, all you have to do is hold the Option or Alt key and then drag. Duplicating instrument tracks is especially handy with this method because if you hold the Option or Alt key and then drag an instrument track down, this will create a separate instance of that VST with the existing MIDI, which allows for faster layering. For drums, if you use the Pattern Editor, which is Studio One's native step sequencer, you can hold this key and double click on any sample one or impact track to bring up a pattern event really quickly. Finally, if you hover over the end of any audio or MIDI event and then press and hold this key down, you'll be able to either time stretch audio or extend a duration of any MIDI notes. Okay, this next one is for anyone who needs a little bit of help with chords when it comes to producing. So Studio One comes with a nifty little feature called the Chord Track, and it can do a bunch of really useful things. So for example, if you have a piece of audio, you can right click on this, go down to Audio, and then under the Chord section, select Extract to Chord Track to have Studio One analyze this piece and then extract its chords. If you want an even faster way of doing this, then you can open up the Chord Track and then simply just drag that audio piece onto there. In any case, once you have your chords up here on the Chord Track, you can then turn this entire thing into MIDI by selecting all of your chords and then simply dragging it down to a MIDI instrument. What's even crazier is that if you click the follow button on the chord track and then open up the inspector window for any track, you can then select from one of the follow chord algorithms and then have Studio One change the MIDI or audio performances in real time based on what you have on the chord track. So let me show you this. Here I have a little chord progression. C, G, F and then A minor. But now that I have one of these algorithms selected and I have this follow chord uh, feature enabled, I can then double click on this to change to something else. Let's change it to, I don't know, let's change it back to a C. Now, I'll be honest, sometimes the chord track is not as accurate in detecting chords or in the real-time audio processing like you just heard now, but what I will say is that I still think, in my opinion, that this is a very, very useful tool for quickly sketching out ideas, for seeing if a different chord progression would work better, and of course, for extracting chords to layer up your audio performance with some virtual instruments. Now, before we continue, if you're enjoying these Studio One tips, then I am certain you're also going to enjoy my free productivity toolbar for Studio One. This is a macro toolbar that sits at the top of your timeline for easy access and combines a bunch of Studio One's production functions into time-saving one-click buttons. The productivity toolbar is completely free, so if you want to start speeding up your Studio One workflow today, then click the first link down below to get access. But okay, speaking of virtual instruments, if you are on Studio One 6 and above, there is a really handy feature called Track Presets that can save you a bunch of time. If you've ever been in the middle of a production and thought, man, it'd be cool if I could save this sound that I've spent a ton of time tweaking and that an effects to, then I have good news for you because if you open up your browser, you can literally take any MIDI or audio track and then just simply drag it over and drop it to create a track preset that you can later use for future recall. Track presets are handy because they store a ton of data, including VST patches, insert effects, and any channel configurations and routing, which can greatly speed up your production. Once you drag and drop your tracks into the browser to save them, they'll be stored under the track preset folder, and all you have to do to bring them back is simply just drag them back into your timeline, and you are done. Now, the only thing track presets can't do is save MIDI information, but that's no big deal because Studio One also comes with a handy MIDI saving feature. Once you save the track as a preset to save the MIDI, all you have to do is switch over to the files tab in your browser. And just like before, simply drag over the MIDI and notice that when you do this, you're going to get a pop-up window. Before releasing, press the command or control key to switch this over to MIDI and then let go. This will effectively take the MIDI notes from Studio One and then store them on your computer as a MIDI file for future recall. So then if you ever want to bring 
bring those MIDI notes back, all you have to do is locate where you save them. So for me, it would be right here and then drag them back into Studio One. What I would recommend here though, is that you create a dedicated folder somewhere on your computer or external drive so you can have a singular place for all of your MIDI storage. This feature alone speeds up my workflow a ton because it allows me to pull from any musical ideas that I've stored before to spark some inspiration and never get stuck. What this ultimately means is that I can help my clients finish and release more music through services like today's video sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service, and if you are a regular viewer of this channel, then you are no stranger to them. They have been a channel sponsor for a while now, and that is because I truly enjoy their services. I've been using them to distribute my beat tapes and my clients' music for a few years now because of how affordable and hassle-free they make the entire experience. They recently also released an app for iOS with one coming for Android soon, so releasing and managing your music has never been easier. So then if you're ready to spread your music out to a broader audience and start today by clicking the link down below to get 7% off your first year. But all right, the last feature for today is one of my all-time favorites, and that is macros. In short, macros are a series of commands that you can string together to create either a keyboard shortcut or a button inside of Studio One to automate almost anything. From programming drum patterns to adding scales to even adding insert effects with one single button click, macros are by far Studio One's most powerful feature, in my opinion, that can speed up your workflow exponentially. Earlier in the video, I told you about my free productivity toolbar, which is actually a macro toolbar itself. Again, the toolbar is free, but if you want to learn more about it in macros in general, then make sure to click this video right over here. 